Lesh, and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos at the World Economic Forum. Very pleased to be joined by Dr. Raymond Baxter, president of Kaiser Permanente International. Turns out we're from the same town. <laughs> <laughs> Had to come all the way to Davos to meet you here. Right. Tell me about the total health that Kaiser Permanente is working on, you're working on. Well, and let me put it in the context of the World Economic Forum meeting here too, because all of the healthcare leaders that are here are talking about how we have to move away from paying for procedures to start paying for value, pay for health outcomes, focus on prevention, focus on healthy lives. Mm -hmm. well, that's perfectly aligned with Kaiser Permanente's total health strategy. And that total health strategy is about health, not just of the body, mm -hmm. but of the mind and the spirit as well. It recognizes those are all parts of what make us healthy. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if you talk to any normal person on the street and ask them about their health, they won't just tell you about an illness or a disability. They'll tell you about what they worry about, security, mm -hmm. their family, what gives them joy. So we take that broad view of health. And in order to try to achieve that for people, it means you have to provide excellent care in your hospitals and medical offices, but it also means you have to go way beyond that. It means that we have a stake in kids and teachers being in healthy schools where there's healthy food, mm -hmm. lots of good physical activity, freedom from bullying and stress. It means people in the workplace should be in a healthy workplace. Homes should be healthy. The environment, the community should be safe and healthy. So what we look to do is take a hard look at every asset we have, how we purchase, mm -hmm. the benefits we provide our employees, having a healthy impact on the environment rather than a toxic effect on the environment. Uh, all of those things are part of creating health and prosperity in the community and they'll lead to healthier people. And that's what we're all about. Doesn't it feel a bit invasive if you're telling me as Kaiser Permanente not only how, how to deal with my health care, um, but also how where to shop, what to eat? We'll give you the tips, it's mm -hmm. up to you. Mm -hmm. We can't make you buy healthy food. Right. We can't make you walk to school mm -hmm. instead of be driven to school. But we can tell you what a difference it makes in your health if you do the right things. With the introduction of wearable technology, however, you could monitor what people are doing, right? We could if they mm -hmm. allow us to right. and if they want us to. In fact, a lot of our members are asking us, um, why can't I mm -hmm. send messages from that device mm -hmm. or this device to my mm -hmm. medical record? Mm -hmm. And we're saying, why would you want to do that? You just want us to know? Or is there something about your health that's concerning you mm -hmm. that we can help you with? So it's a conversation starter more than it is an electronic flow. But I'll tell you where it does make a difference mm -hmm. is in the home. Let's say you've just come out of the hospital, you go home. We now have the ability, if you're willing to do it, to monitor your weight, monitor your food intake, monitor your heart rate, things like that. Mm -hmm. So we can make sure that everything's going well while you're at home and that you're not going to have a readmission, you're not going to get ill again. So being able to move a lot of the technology like that into the home means that we can radically reduce the use of hospitals in the future and really focus on taking care of people where they'd rather be, which is home. Dr. Baxter, thanks so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lush.